Hello everyone, welcome back to Critical Hit, the one-stop show for news and opinion-based videos on everything geek and gamer culture. I am your host Adam, and today we're going to be talking about loot boxes, or indeed their absence of them, because it appears that Jeff Kaplan, in a sit-down interview with PC Games N, decided to talk about the last four years with Overwatch, as well as looking towards the future, and discuss future monetization tactics with what we could expect from Overwatch 2. And if I scroll down here, and it would appear that... <laughs> that after much speculation we will indeed be not getting loot boxes in Overwatch 2. Can't tell you how happy I am with that, you know what I am like about loot boxes. I've done a whole video discussing loot boxes, I have talked about the idea of them, I've talked about paid for monetization loot boxes being absolutely scummy, addictive and predatory. You know where I stand on it, if you haven't the link is down below in the description so you can check that one out. It's one of my better ones and I'm very proud of it. And indeed I've highlighted the area right here. Well, we have made a lot of changes to loot boxes and how they work over the years. So we're definitely open to change. Overwatch 2 in terms of business model, we're exploring different options to, that move us away from loot boxes. But I think that will be more for Overwatch 2 than the core game. But I would never rule anything out. So not only is he talking about how they're moving away from loot boxes from Overwatch 2, but also the possibility of moving away from it in terms of the original Overwatch. I don't think that is something that will happen. I think that uh, Overwatch 2 will ha not have loot boxes, but I believe that they will not remove loot boxes from Overwatch. There have been too many people who are monetarily invested that might, that might strike a chord with. Uh, in terms of alternatives, in terms of monetization, he also very briefly decided to bring up the idea of battle passes. Not talking about what to expect monetarily, but uh, more or less was talking about what to expect from what he liked about battle passes. What's, you know, the idea of a uh, battle pass system put into the game being probably very likely. Um, it's kind of kind of odd because uh, what's odd about the whole idea is that uh, Overwatch was the one that popularized it. You know, um, they originally came up with the concept of pay for cosmetic items within loot boxes that you pay for with real life money. It popularized it. Everyone jumped on the band, you know, that bandwagon and everyone started to take more and more of the piss as it went along. And before you knew it, the government decided that they were called for loot boxes to be regulated like gambling. The government stepped in and said, hey, you can't be doing this. This is um, this is basically everything that's gambling. And even as recently as when uh, the government was calling for uh, loot boxes to be regulated, Blizzard was Blizzard uh, was saying how loot box controversy doesn't involve them. Even though they were the catalyst, the foundation of everything that drove the loot box craze out and basically pushed it into the mainstream, they were, up until recently, adamant that they had no place, that they were not predatory. So it kind of, it says a lot right now, you know, the people who originated and popularized loot boxes in mainstream $60 games to be actually pulling out and not putting loot boxes in future titles. They have uh, some reserves. I'm like, okay, you've taken out one of your biggest money spinners in your latest game. What are you going to do now? So that's my only concern. But apart from that, really happy. This is a good piece. Good news piece. Very happy about this news. Can't wait for you to hear about it. Victory for us. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now.